Hello, and welcome back to Mantha's Mobile Marketing Academy. We hope the first two courses in this series helped you begin developing a mobile marketing strategy for your small business. The third and final course in this Academy series will take a closer look at one of the mobile marketing tactics introduced in our last session, mobile apps. According to consumer reporting released in 2015 by the research firm Nielsen, smartphone users access an average of 27 apps per month. According to Nielsen, app usage, once a novelty, is now an essential part of the mobile experience. Could your small business carve a place in that market for its own mobile app? This expert level course will provide you with advice on how to build a mobile app, discuss the benefits for your business, and provide guidance on making your app relevant to new and future customers. To understand the hows and whys of building a mobile app for your small business, Manta consulted with John Dinsmore, a veteran of the tech industry and an assistant professor of marketing at the Wright State University Raj Sohan College of Business, along with digital marketing expert Karen Cummings, founder of Arizona-based Radiant Marketing. There's plenty of data to support apps as an effective marketing tool for businesses. However, mobile apps aren't right for every company. Launching a successful app depends largely on the existing connection you have with your customers and what new and useful interactions your app can provide. To begin, we'll cover some mobile app basics and consider their effectiveness in engaging smartphone and tablet users. Mobile apps, or applications, are programs made for downloading on smartphones or other mobile devices. Mobile apps have specific and limited functions which users can access directly from their smartphone or tablet screens without first logging into their internet browsers. Amazon's app, for example, allows you to make direct, immediate purchases from the e-commerce site. Productivity apps, like TimeWorks Pro, allow you to log billable hours and generate invoices. There are two classes of apps, says Professor Dinsmore. Portal apps, like Amazon, which are free to download and connect customers directly to a company's website, products, or services. According to Dinsmore, customers download these apps because they already spend enough time on the company website. It makes sense to download the app for more efficient access. Commercial apps, like TimeWorks Pro, allow customers to use the app's functions after an initial download fee or in-app purchase. Customers download these apps because they provide a useful service in and of themselves. In effect, these apps are the business. And the time people spend on these sort of mobile apps is increasing. According to Nielsen's 2015 mobile survey, people spend an average of 37 and a half hours on their apps every month. That's a 63% jump from the amount of time people were spending on apps in 2012. 70% of that usage goes to the top 200 most downloaded consumer apps. Nielsen reported that the top smartphone app of 2015 was, of course, Facebook, with nearly 126 million unique users, an increase of 8% from 2014. The YouTube app came in second with 98 million unique users, a 5% year-over-year increase for that company. So the market for app downloads is gigantic. On January 1, 2016, Apple recorded its highest sales in App Store history, with users spending over $144 million on downloads just in a single day. Despite the multi-billion dollar app market, it's a crowded space for companies looking to launch their own apps. Smartphone users only have so much screen space for the apps they decide to download, says expert Karen Cummings. That means you have to be strategic in developing your own app. Cummings recommends first asking yourself whether there's an unmet need among your website visitors and target customers that can be fulfilled through a mobile app. Next, determine what your goals would be in developing a mobile app for your small business. For instance, if getting visitors to spend more time on your website a mobile app may help you accomplish that goal. According to Professor Dinsmore, people who interact with companies through mobile apps spend seven to eight times more time on company apps than they do when they've just pulled the company website up on their smartphone browsers. Therefore, apps represent a direct marketing channel to your customers. 
customers who are more likely to purchase from your company the longer they spend on your website or app. The tricky part is getting people to download and then use your app. For certain types of businesses, an app is a no-brainer. For example, in the age of Uber, small taxi and car service companies should have an e-hailing app so customers can hail them from their smartphones. There are larger apps that small car companies can join, like Curb or local e-hailing programs that are run in certain cities. Taxi companies might also build their own apps by purchasing white label products through development companies like Taxi Startup or Taxi Mobile Solutions. Similarly, Small businesses across all sectors have the same options when it comes to mobile app development. Owners can choose to hire a firm to design and build a custom app for your business. Note, this will likely be the costliest option when it comes to launching a mobile app. You might also purchase a white label app that can be customized for your company. Taxi companies aren't the only ones for whom this service exists. Professional services firms and small medical practices can purchase white-label apps that allow clients to schedule appointments, pay their bills, and receive important briefings. Depending on the regulations around your practice, these apps need to be secure and confidential. You can also build your own app using an online template. This process is as simple as filling out a form online, says Dinsmore. Most major web providers offer this service already. If you use WordPress, Wix, or GoDaddy to host your website, look into developing a mobile app through the same provider. Finally, if you're not ready for your own app, consider joining a larger platform built for a number of your businesses in your industry. For example, retailers can join the SpendGo or PunchCard type customer loyalty apps. Restaurants can maintain a presence on OpenTable. Contracting pros can reach the homeowners posting jobs in on-demand websites, excuse me, on-demand apps like Home Advisor, Thumbtack, and HomeU. There's even an on-demand app for defense law firms. Arrest SOS lets users instantly contact defense attorneys in their zip code if they're about to be arrested. These platforms provide a way to market to and connect with customers through an app without taking the risk of developing your own. So, what are the risks of launching your own app? For one, you risk wasting time and money on an app that isn't useful for your target users. When you're considering your app, consider your customers first. Your business may be the world to you, but you need to prove that worth every day to smartphone users, just as you do in the real world. As you're conceptualizing your app, Professor Dinsmore suggests asking yourself how you can provide value for your customers. You can't expect them to download your app just because they patronize your business. People really have to get something in return for that valuable mobile screen space. For example, if you're a law firm, your app might send important legal updates that affect clients in certain practice areas. If you're an accountant, your firm's app might send notifications to a user's smartphone anytime there's an important regulatory update that affects them. If you're a physician or a dentist, you can use a mobile app to confirm appointments and let patients know when it's time to reschedule a regular checkup. Retailers, restaurateurs, and service providers can incentivize app downloads and usage by sending discounts, coupons, and special promotions to app users. For landscapers and contracting pros, such as plumbers, painters, handymen, and electricians, an app can be a convenient customer service portal, allowing customers to schedule appointments or make a payment. Many home service providers and contractors provide value by sending snippets of to-do-it-yourself advice to app users. Provide them inspiration for their small home improvement projects, and they're likely to use your app to hire you for the bigger job. So those are the hows and whys. Now you have to determine whether a mobile app is within reach for your small business. The experts who contributed to this course encourage all small business owners to consider focusing their marketing efforts on mobile users. And mobile apps are definitely within reach as a direct marketing tool for small companies. Many larger companies have invested a lot of money to put mobile apps within reach for smaller enterprises, says Dinsmore. It's up to you to do experimentation 
and keep tinkering with mobile marketing until something clicks for your small business. Those are some mobile app basics. Before we finish today, let's review the key points from this course. Apps are programs designed to provide a specific function for smartphone or tablet users. They provide businesses with a direct marketing channel to users. Consider your customers' needs as you develop your app. What might you provide that they couldn't otherwise get through your website? There are several options for reaching mobile app users. Hire a firm to build a custom app. Purchase a customizable white label product. Build an app using an online template. Or join a larger app platform built for your industry. Congratulations. You completed Manta's Mobile Marketing Academy. We hope it's provided you a useful starting point for your mobile marketing research and planning. Other courses in Manta's Digital Marketing Suite include the Email Marketing Academy, SEO Basics, Online Reputation Management, Facebook, and Twitter How-Tos. The Academy covers a range of small business topics and features free basic courses on hiring, business insurance, contracts, succession planning, and sales. We welcome you to visit the Academy homepage at the top of Manta.com. While you're there, take a few seconds to claim your small business profile. If your business isn't already in our database, add your details and start reaching Manta.com users today. At Manta, we believe in empowering small businesses to grow and prosper. Every day, thousands of owners like you gain expert advice, training, and practical resources through Manta articles, courses, and webinars. Is there a small business topic you'd like to see covered on Manta.com? Send your suggestions to our editors at contentteam at Manta.com. Thank you for joining us today, and best luck with your small business mobile marketing.